Hello all and welcome back to the channel. For this week in Timview, we head to the magical place known as Outside. Wow, I know, right? This has been an incredibly busy week for me, so I thought for this week in Timview, I would just show you guys snippets of all the cool stuff I did this week. So join me on this week-long tour of some cool spots to visit around Southern California. Starting things off, we have the family trip to Redondo Beach. So, fun fact, both my dad and my wife's dad have the same exact birthday. Uh, not year, but the same month and day. And so for my father-in-law's birthday, we decided to head to the Redondo Beach Pier to hang out for the day. We booked some tickets to go whale watching. A tad unfortunate, we didn't see any actual whales, but we did get a chance to get quite an extended look at some dolphins that came along for the ride. These dolphins were literally right next to and underneath the boat. I even got some cool pictures of them. I got all this cool slow-mo footage and regular speed footage of them jumping out of the water, going underneath the boat, riding the wake, just really cool stuff. I've never seen so many dolphins so close up. It was really neat to see all the dolphins and to get that fresh, you know, sort of sea air. And then we went back to Redondo, got some food, and just kind of kicked it for the rest of that day. Redondo has this great, chill, laid-back atmosphere. It was kind of busy, but you could find your own space to hang out. There were a bunch of people fishing. A couple of guys caught a ton of fish and just seemed to be on a hot streak that day. And just overall, a great little family outing. Got some really nice photos out of it and some really good video footage. I haven't decided yet if I'll make a full vlog out of it, but I definitely have the footage for it. Really cool place if you're in Southern California, definitely check it out sometime. Next, my wife and I spent our anniversary in Santa Barbara. I absolutely love Santa Barbara, I went to school there, and every time I go there it's just this nice, relaxing, easygoing place where you can just chill, hang out. We went to the harbor, had lunch at one of our favorite restaurants called On The Alley. Absolutely amazing fish and chips, fried calamari, you really can't go wrong at this place no matter what you're getting. And then for dinner we headed over to Santa Barbara's Funk District where we went to a little bit of a fancy place called The Lark where they have uh, some more upscale menu options. They serve you their house seasoned fresh popcorn as a free little appetizer. Then we ordered their chicken skin with pimento cheese dip, the grilled prawns, their fried chicken and grits. We also ordered their porchetta and my wife ordered a few of their oysters, which she absolutely loved. The whole meal was fantastic, and every dish is crafted with a, you know, just a level of quality and attention to detail that you would expect at a, you know, bit of a finer dining establishment. It's not too fancy though, you can totally go there in casual clothing, and I would absolutely recommend this place if you're ever in the Santa Barbara area for some nicer vibes. Again, one of my favorite spots in Santa Barbara to eat. And then finishing off the night, we got ice cream at the local favorite ice cream cream shop, McConnell's. I absolutely love their signature salted caramel chip and would totally recommend that. I mean, all their flavors, everything I've tried is great. And then for our last major outing, we hit up a couple of interesting places. The first being Tartine Bakery in Santa Monica. There are many locations for this bakery and they originally started in San Francisco. You know, throwback to that San Francisco vlog. And this one actually is located in a converted old like funeral home, uh, which may sound kind of creepy, but the way that they've renovated it and the new architecture and all the greenery, it actually looks beautiful. It's a totally unique space and their pastries are just phenomenal. We decided to have a little bit of brunch here, so we got their turkey pastrami sandwich, which comes with a turkey pastrami and some chicken skin on their fresh baked bread. This sandwich was pretty good, but honestly the turkey just sort of tasted like regular shaved turkey. So I would probably stick with the pastries and desserts if you come here. The lemon tart was amazing. It had this nice uh, tartness to it, but also the crust was nice and dense and flaky and the cream on top helped sort of uh, smooth everything out. And then taking some stuff to go, we got a couple of croissants, uh, morning buns, and some scones. All of these I can absolutely recommend. The croissants are amazingly flaky and light and buttery, and the morning bun especially is wonderfully flaky, crispy, chewy, 
all the sorts of textures you would want with a bit of a orange citrus that helps cut through all of the sweetness and richness of it. Then for lunch, we headed over to the Westfield Mall in, I believe it's Century City. And they have this really neat kind of uh, little shopping center inside of a shopping center called Italy. You know, get it? It's like a pun on Italy, but Italy. Anyway, it's actually a really cool spot where there are tons of restaurants and then a bunch of local produce. Uh, you can get, of course, veggies and stuff, but there are also tons of fresh made cheeses and charcuterie related things, cured meats. There's even a bunch of different desserts and gelato and fresh made pasta, all kinds of just Italian goods for sale. We decided to try this place that makes Roman style pizza, which I never had before and was actually amazingly good. And it's just this cool, like unique little place where you can get a little taste of Italy right in your hometown or home city. I think there are a few of these. There's one in the Bay Area, there's one in LA, there's one in Las Vegas. There are probably more. So a really cool spot to stop at and check out if you happen to be nearby one of them. And I think that will wrap up all the adventures that I had this week. As for the show feature, keeping in line with a sort of relaxed vibe this week, I thought I'd recommend this show that I stumbled upon on Netflix this week. English title is Old Enough, or in Japanese, Hajimete no Otsukai, which means like uh, my first errand. And it is just so adorable. It follows around these Japanese kids, like three to five years old, where their parents send them on their first errands. And every episode is short, like somewhere usually between 10 and 20 minutes. This is the kind of show that I think you could basically only film in Japan, where these little kids are literally sent to go do errands and tasks that maybe, you know, someone like a little older kid, like approaching like preteen, may be able to do. But these kids are like three to five years old. So they're sent on tasks like go to the store and buy flowers and curry, or go out and meet the neighbor, drop off this gift, and then come back on your way back, go get some uh, veggies from the garden. And these kids are just so adorable. They go on these quests and they're so diligent. Well, sometimes they're diligent. Sometimes they get distracted by other things. You know, every kid is different, and that's what makes this show just so great to watch. It's that sense of wonder and discovery and just so amazingly cute. You just can't stand it. You know, these these tiny little kids, some of them seem like they're barely old enough to be walking and talking, and they're sent to go do somewhat complicated tasks for their age. It's just so much fun and so easy to watch, and I totally recommend checking it out if you just need something warm and comfy and uh, comforting and so definitely give that a shot if you know you're just looking for something easy to watch you know maybe even in between other stuff but yeah i think that will about do it for this week in tim view as always thanks so much for watching this series is continually evolving and you just never know what you'll get in this grab bag called tim's life you know the other quick thing i wanted to mention was i just had the second live stream of a few pages the tim thoughts book club where i went over no longer human by osamu dazai and i just want to say that i think it went really well the book is definitely quite heavy but if you're interested at all go ahead and check it out i think that this book club is continually evolving and is a really great challenge that i always look forward to every time and i feel like I always learn so much from it. But yeah, that's all. Just my little plug out of the way. So uh, that will about wrap it up for this week in Tim View. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.